Okay, welcome and welcome back. This is my next commentary, the second one for today, of a match, of a pro match. And, but first of all, I have to say my throat hurts a little bit. I'm kind of like ill, I don't know. Uh, just a little ill, my throat hurts, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing commentary. Yeah, um, so I might be, you know, drinking a few times, not alcohol, not even tea, it's just water. I'm kind of lazy to actually make a tea. It's, just, it's water, I don't know. So I'll be drinking, you know, so if you hear some disgusting sounds, or just like a yum yum yum, it's uh, me drinking water. Uh, but let's uh, actually see the match between Stars Boba and Mineski. I think both teams could be wrong. Okay, Mineski is definitely uh, Philippines. Haha. <laughs> Pinoy. Not Philippine, <laughs> the previous version that I said, uh, just Philippines. And Stars Boba, that's the team from, I don't want to say it wrong, I just, I, I, I looked at it but I forgot that, I think it's Vietnam. It's something Asia definitely, of course it is, but I think it's Vietnam. Not really sure. Is it important that much? Not that much for me, but uh, just for you, so you know. Um, so right now, let's go through bands. Again, we see kind of a similar pattern. Uh, of course, there's an air shaker picked <laughs> as a first one, so that's very interesting for me to see that, you know, because playing Dota 2 that much, he's not in that game. That's definitely interesting to see that, you know, this big variety of styles. In Dota 1 he's everywhere, in Dota 2 he's nowhere. So that's definitely interesting. So first of all there's a Dark Seer. You know, I'll be very quickly going through it. Not really much explaining, I think, you know, in the previous one I explained even Dark Seer and SI Wind. Every, actually every hero I explained in the previous one. So the Dark Seer, again, great pull. In a previous game with the uh, Orange, Team Orange, uh, Mushi and the Dark Seer, great combos with the Nevermore's ulti and basically pulling them back to two Nevermore's position to get the most damage. That was greatly played in the previous game. So, and you know, the movement speed, he can hold his own against anybody basically on the line because of the Iron Chill. And if there's a there's a space that he can, you know, if, if they will give him space, enough space, meaning maybe the supports will roam, he can push the line very, very easily, very fast. Nessai, I think I don't have to talk about him. The classic support or carry. He can farm, he can't farm. Uh, doesn't matter for him, he still will have, you know, the, F the same effect with farm or without farm because there's that random stun and that pull. The pull is not random, that will be there forever, but the stun, if it's four seconds, it's done. It can, it can decide the game. One stun can decide the line, that's the thing. So that's definitely the, you know, the pick in Dota 1. And even Dota 2, it will be the same when he will be coming out there. Windrunner, you know, great hero. We know Windrunner from Dota 2, she's picked. We know Windrunner from Dota 1, she's picked, so no need to talk about that. Puck, again, kind of an exclusive hero for Dota 1. Dota 2 is kind of forgotten, so... Uh, the orb is definitely better in Dota 1. That's what I'm gonna say. Krixilis, interesting. I don't think he's picked that much in Dota 1. In Dota 2, he's definitely something like a tight, uh, you know, tight Krixilis and Dota 2 are kind of... A, Stronger, I would say, than in Dota 1. Uh, definitely, see, what is different, I can say truthfully, is that ulti, if you're casting it, it gives you about one second uh, before those pulses will go off in Dota 2. In Dota 1, it will be instant. So, what you need to do in Dota 1, you need to go the Q, basically the shift and the blink to that position, or you will miss absolutely at least one, two pulses. In Dota 2 you can actually pull it off without it, so that's the difference uh, between Dota 2 and Dota 1 Craigslist that is, you know, programmed. Other than that, he, he should be definitely the same. Uh, Lycan, Ancient, Tiny. I think Lycan is very well known in the jungle. Very hard to kill him, very hard to gang him. He's got these wolves. Push. Uh, Maximum move speed in his ulti, and it's just pain in the ass to play against him. Ancient, the same thing, I think, you know, we all know him, Tiny, we all know Tiny. Petra again, kind of exclusive right now to Dota 1. Invoker, 
surprisingly he's not banned in the first three spots he's banned like the last one so the, the teams are definitely not really caring for invoke in first you know three picks uh, they're definitely leaving him uh, for the last ban at least so they're like we don't really mind if somebody picks him but we don't really want somebody picks him you know later on or pick him later on so that's why we're banning him that's that late in Dota 2 is banned he, he needs to be banned right away he needs to be dude you know everybody needs to do that so because I think in Dota 1 he's just as strong I'm gonna pause it very quickly I'm not gonna go you know, through it uh, in the details but I get the Earthshaker probably the best support best roamer in Dota 1 Nega Siren very very interesting pick we are not really sure if they you know this is the Philippines team so uh, they might play Nega a little differently because in the previous game that I casted Nega I think she was uh, not really support but she had mana she went for mana to actually cast uh, the Riptide which is the the area effect from you know the new version of Snaga uh, Riptide is the area effect around Nega and her illusions so it covers great AoE and of course there's that ulti so it can be used as you know preparation for initiation or even push when you want to just a tower you don't want to you know worry about any other enemy attacking you you get the tower and you get away from a team you can even pour while your team is actually running away uh, interesting thing that I didn't even mention in a previous game with the Nega is that what she can do okay let's assume the Slardar will have BKB and nobody else will have BKB okay so Slardar activates BKB or Jumpstar activates BKB okay it's 5 on 5 so it's Slardar in BKB Nega Siren can cast an ulti and it will be 5 against 1 because he won't be affected of course by that ulti which will work against him because everybody can actually attack him while his team four of them will be in that sleep for six seconds so that's I think important thing also to mention that this ulti can do that against heroes with BKBs it can turn five uh, fight five against five on five against one and he can like go like oh I will you know I will cancel my BKB and I will go to sleep he can do that he has to fight so that's I think interesting to say basically what it means it will waste his BKB at the best at the worst of course he will die and there's Akasha the classic pick she's gonna be probably played solo on the bottom uh, I would assume even though hmm, okay let's go actually much more further Crystal Maiden she's she you know she worked great with the Earthshaker uh, we definitely see more Crystal Maiden in Dota 1 in Dota 2 there's a more of a hero called Venomancer much more of that hero uh, than a Crystal Maiden and these guys. Uh, definitely no great combos with the Earthshaker, so that's what we definitely roaming team, I guess. Lanaya is a hero in Dota One that is usually played middle. You know, she gets these levels. She she gets the uh, the ulti, the control, the slow. The thing is that like very little things can kill her in the beginning like even gank it doesn't matter if you're ganking with Rome she can the fissure that can be blocked that's one thing the slow is one thing and basically the damage won't be there simple as that so it's really very hard to kill the Naya and it, it is very hard to kill the Naya when she's got items you know usually it is a dagger maybe face boot a dagger and desolator it works perfectly there's this even synergy with her skills with those you know uh, those items perfect synergy actually and she's very deadly so that's pretty awesome but then again if she buys a BKB which you know she maybe will there could be that ulti that will turn the BKB against Lanaya we'll see Shadow Demon again great roamer mostly he's actually played with the Earthshaker so this time he's actually against him with Earthshaker he's absolutely perfect we saw that many games in many games and there's a Slardar which, you know, again, he will go for the BKB, so that will be interesting. Uh, Necrolite and Crobel. Necrolite is like old school here a little bit, because he's got the Soul Assumption, I think it's called, which actually works on tri -lane. So we have to see a tri -lane for him to be that effective, which is kind of difficult. Maybe with the Shadow Demon and Slardar, 
that could be it, and these guys so low. That definitely could be it. But try lane these two guys, these three guys. I think that would be pretty awesome. The necro, the soul assumption, I think it's called like that. I, I hope so. Uh, basically, the nuke it does so much damage, and it's basically the best against you know uh, opponents, basically free opponents. Uh, you kind of force the fight. They have to cast spells, which will you know uh, grant you actually these like a souls, and then you release them, and it does so much damage in the beginning. You know, I, I would be surprised if any necrolite. It's called necrolite, like visage, visage. It's not Necrolite, it's Necrolick, I think. Visage, well, let's call him Visage. Um, I would be surprised if he wouldn't have kills. <laughs> but the timer is going down, I'm really curious. I'm really curious what they will pick. I can't remember what it was, so... From doing a preview. You can actually speed it up a little bit. But yeah, try lane against try lane. The Trilane with the Necrolite should be winning. Oh, it's DK, Dragon Knight. Um, I like Dragon Knight, and most of the times I like the Ancient pull with the Dominator. Uh, which, you know, I don't think is possible actually on the Sentinel side, because this spot is actually usually warded at some point of a game, so... This is kind of much more difficult than actually this spot. Usually this spot is, uh, you know, the, the one that is gonna be stacked. It can be even with the Traxxas, you know, any hero that likes the Dominator. Or that there can be Chan in the jungle that can stack it for you. Uh, but definitely with the Dragonite, it's an advantage in a sense that uh, he's got that splash damage on level 11, uh, the Fire Dragon, so that just kills the spot in. I'd say one minute, and you will have you know extreme amount of XP's, extreme amount of levels. If you do multiple pulls, you can have two free levels, and oops, that could be actually clash. It won't be good if they're gonna stay on the bottom here. So let's see. There's a shadow demon. There's a slaughter. There's a necrolite. So the damage is definitely on this side right now, but the CM is definitely getting the vision here, so they should see it. Yeah, there's a vision even from here, so. They just warded basically the, the pull, okay. And there's even ward here, so they have complete control over over them. There's gonna be ward here, so they're gonna see the Shadow Demon. There should be Fissure actually. There we go, and he's gonna take it. He could he could be actually denying that there we go. So the haste is denied, the fissure is not not gonna say wasted, but uh <laughs> Uh, definitely, it was interesting action from the beginning. By the way, on the middle, it will be DK against Lanaya. I knew it. And there's a, a cache against Krobo. As we said. And there's a first clash, I think. There's a CM, actually. Mm, CM could be in trouble. There's a Fissure, actually. Against, like, the Slit and Gush. And there's the Gush. Let's see if the Wizard will have that... That nuke ready. Oh, doesn't look like it. Actually, Sutter is in trouble right now. And there's the nuke, and there's the visage, first blood, <laughs> as I said. The nuke is so strong. He was just waiting for the for these souls to be charged. They're still fighting. It's literally tight. Look at the damage on that thing. Like, that's what I was talking about. And she can cast it over and over again. It's very, very good since in the beginning. Uh, great action, and I think, again, with the visage, just because of the visage, they will have advantage. Even though the, the Nega Siren will work perfectly against these guys, because the range of that spell, as you can see, it hit all of them. The only problem will be the two melees and CM is only the range. That could be Fissure right now. Maybe they could be waiting on the, on the CM. There's a Thrip Tide. Maybe they should be waiting on the CM, which is actually coming right now, but... Now this is actually insane action. A Dragonite against Lanaya. I think this action, holy shit, there's a still action going on. A Slaughter is dead. Earthshaker is in big, big trouble. But this is just enough mana on the uh, Soul Assumption, so. And there's a whip on the Shadow Demon. It doesn't look like it could be his death. Even though the Riptide is still there, it's still hitting him, which is insane. There's a slithering catch from a Slaughter hunting the Nega Siren. This is insane. <laughs> By the way, uh, this guy doesn't. Uh, or didn't kill the CM, so. By the way, he should get some a mana regen, <laughs> or somebody should have some arcane boost later on, so this guy can spam it. If this guy will have mana, as he's right now trying to do, he will kill instantly the Naga. So definitely look after that. But the Riptide, as you can see, 
that could be actually kind of a counter thing to these guys on this line because it does a lot of damage. So at least they got that, you know, that's the only thing that it plays with uh, for them, that the Riptide is definitely a great spell right now. There's a slow armor CM. Uh, again, two, you know, two range guys against two melee guys and a CM. It's definitely harder for the center at this moment. Alright. I just wanted to see that uh, this will definitely help him against Lanaya, the regen, so... And he can, you know, maybe... He can actually boil, so he'll be maybe spamming the, the, the fire breath. We'll see. By the way, I'm missing one guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they are still there. And there's Vishich, maybe... That was a good fissure. The Riptide should be there. There we go. Lowering the armor, 0 0.6. There's a nice disruption. There's still, she's waiting. She can do Riptide second pump. Very, very soon. Even falling in the attack on the, get this guy. By the way, the guy actually finished the slaughter finish with the speed. The CM, I didn't catch that. I think the vision should be maybe more careful. <laughs> maybe l let the you know, slaughter or this guy could be caught and then he can you know charge these souls and then release it. And there's the next initiation. There's a fissure cancelling against Slater and Gush. So she should be fine at this moment. Definitely great fissures, I have to say. It's like a second or third time. He's always cancelling uh, the upcoming upcoming stun for the... Uh, basically... Well, for the hero that is actually stuck in that disruption. Interestingly enough, he's got 1-1. One, one. Uh, I don't think... I'm not really sure. I think he's got 2 disruption and 1 shadow poison. So maybe it's for the vision, even though they have one, or a decent one. So he might, it, you know, even just to wait, just to cancel their clarities or the clarities from uh, Earthshaker. And Visage is back, so they can't. He's got bottles, so this will be very, very hard for them to actually pull anything. Because if they want to do something right now, it will hurt them even more. Because this guy, level 3, winning level 2 of the Soul Assumption, will do a lot. I just don't know. <laughs> I just can't go out because I know something will happen here. I know that. He's just waiting for that fissure, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go up. So there's a club level 5 with the Soul Ring, so she just wants to pressure the Akasha. Even pulling these neutrals to these creeps, so... That's a nice pull. Akasha level 5, so they are pretty much on the same... On the same level. Akasha, you know, is having advantage of the line actually right now. It's literally much more quicker than... Uh, farming this, even though she's doing a great job cancelling two sp uh, creep waves right now. So this great job from uh, Crowbell, that would definitely help, help her to, you know, a little bit control the line right now. And as I said, right now they don't want to commit to it, because there's a magic stick and there's a bottle. So, again, if they're gonna force the fight, it will hurt them more, I think. And they're gonna do it. Fissure. There's a fissure. A kind of awkward one, actually. Nobody could follow through that, you know. Disruption, there we go. And there's not... Like, there's none... And there's actually disabled, it was nice. But, uh... Again, they tried to cancel that stun, but, uh... Never gonna happen. The soul assumption is still there. They should be running away, like, uh... I don't think they get it. <laughs> As you can see, this is a one-third of the HPs. At least one-third. And he can do it again, again, again. There's a very little pulldown on that. Five magic sticks. Right now he's casting it, so definitely he wants to go for it. And he's got it. There we go. Look at that. I knew it, because from day one. <laughs> that he's gonna do that. There's... Oh, he's probably maxing it, because... Actually, it's level one, looks like it, because it doesn't really do much damage. Yep. Level two would actually kill her. Level five, level four, level four. Definitely harder time for the Sentinel right now, but that's just because of the old school style of visage on the line, you know, just him being there with the with the nuke. As I said, you know, even if you are starting the fight, it can end badly for you, just because the visage, just because of the nuke. So that's definitely interesting. But there's a bottle crow, I guess. Yep, there we go. She's even hiding the courier. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, by the way, this match is supposed to be very, very long, so anything can happen, okay? 
I'm just gonna look at the farm. 32, 14, 19, 13, 38, 33. So Mid is doing pretty decent job. I think both of them are pretty much 30 Denies though. That's a, that's that, that that's the difference. And even if she's forced to jungle a little bit right now, so she's denying like crazy. She's definitely controlling the line just because of the Denies. And I don't think he went for the bottle, so she might even control the, these runes as you can see with with the, with the traps. But there, there's a fight on the on the Nega Siren, so there's a whole assumption. He's got mana. He's got everything he needs. And there's all this, so that might be, might be enough. If yeah, that, that definitely it is. So that was pretty nice. Everybody survived. It's good to you know cast the ulti, even though they don't have any region. So no, they don't have any region. So it will be definitely harder to go back to the line. By the way, like Cash is killing, we see just a glimpse of the ulti on the Krobel, so the, she definitely killed her. And there's initiation yet again. So Slaughter is definitely in trouble. And disruption, nice one, saving actually from the. Wow, look at that. They can't do anything, by the way, complete base of the stun, so let's see if the... There's a whole assumption again. <laughs> Just killing them, one target spell. Insane. Earthshaker shouldn't be there, Earthshaker shouldn't be there, because there's a second one coming from him. And there's a slow... Or, sorry, the poison, which will kill her, and the Earthshaker is running away. So he actually sacrificed the, the Earthshaker kill. Nice trap from Lanaya, let's see if... She can actually cast it yet again, the trap, second one, so there's... No doubt in my mind that he will die. He, he has the magic stick, so she he can go for the second, second fissure. The vicious is there with the stuns. Necrolites. Oops, missing one. There's Dragonite in it with the invis. Alright, there we go. Let's see if he will pull something off. Even though everybody's here, he can't. And there's a Slardar actually jumping on the Naga Siren because she was trying to kill the Shadow Demon. But the Slardar should be going back right now because. There's a visage. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, sorry, the Slaughter is, is, is theirs, yo. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, but he should go back there eventually. Because, you know, visage can actually have the kill. And there's a range sun, as you can see. It's a range like this. It has this new DK that will. He's slowed. He's definitely slowed. Even if. It, whoa, the crystal made it completely missing the, the. The slow, so that was weird. Like, there was nobody there, obviously. And there's a huge, huge critical from the Invis. She was slowing the DK and trying to get him. There's may, there, there might be even, even the stun from the this guy. So we'll see. He's trying to block with him, but I'm not really sure. There's a stun. Actually, a nice vision from a DK. So sorry, the Air Shaker fighting with the D Shadow Demon. Uh, he didn't do any poison there, so whatever. Nice, nice Lardar. So that's all the kill of the Earthshaker. And there's a... Oh... I think she kind of hesitated with, you know, being blocked with creeps. <laughs> this is ridiculous action, I think. People running back and forth, like, this is 10-10 in 10 minutes. Just saying that this is completely insane. What are in a nice trap from Lanaya, and there should be it for the for this guy, because there's a... Yep. 5-1. That's the thing with the Visage. Like... It's hard to say what to do against him because you can't fight, you know, against them because he will get more damage over time at you. Okay, let's see if they will finish slaughter. And, and by the way, they're still giving the uh, this guy the the charges. He's got the full charges right now, so let's see if he will turn it to kill. He definitely could. Uh, next time, maybe. There's a shadow demon porting back, or it's actually no Naya with the face boots. So they have to be careful because there's one trap slow and they are dead. By the way, Krobel I think died again uh, against the uh, ganging Earthshaker, I think. I don't see her anywhere, so it, she has to be dead. I can't really orientate in these like uh, menus because it's like all over the screen, you know, but there's actually, hold on. <laughs> What this guy was doing here, I mean, he was trying to solo Akasha with the Earthshaker on her back. I'm not really sure what, is, what was that, but whatever. But then again, the range stun is definitely doing a great job. Level 11 Dragon Form, which is kind of unusual, I have to say, because most of the times people will leave the Dragon Form level 6 just to push the towers. Even though this is great, look at that. But there's that few uh, refraction, so. 
She can survive a lot with refraction. It will just block every hit and every spell. Meaning she can't even block the Crixley's ulti. But there's an Earthshaker in the position. Oh, she could be maybe waiting for refraction to go off and then finishing up the Lanai. He definitely wants to do that. Now he can do it. Now he can do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nope. That was badly played. Very badly played. She can't even turn it off and kill him very easily. There's a slaughter stun, and there's a I lost it. Well, I think he had opportunity. You can't see it, the effect, so he waited. Like, the ulti does one damage, that's the thing. One damage, I think. So it, it counted as a one, I think, right? Fissure is the second one, and the ancient totem, I don't think he casted it. So that was not even close to being enough to actually dispel that. <laughs> it was kind of a bad decision, but whatever. There's still that visage, so... It's kind of like, you know, it's calming down, but minute by minute, because nobody's... It's not trial lane against trial lane, it was kind of insane from the beginning, but right now it's calming down. Just because they are kind of, you know, fighting actually in the middle, and... She should be in trouble, because she does have... Oh, she does have little mana. Oops, that was... A <laughs> she knew about the Slardar, so she wanted to kind of trick him to being here and basically just... Uh, casting the scream over the cliff almost. Uh, that that could be nice. That could be nice. Okay, there's a still fight against Slardar, which uh, there's amplified damage on the. Oh, he's blocked by creeps, even though there's disable. And there's the slithering gush, and uh, Lanai is actually trying to hunt down the Akasha. 100 damage, so it's level two of that invis. I think level max of the refraction, and level max of the. Looks like this is the max of the range. <laughs> Definitely more interesting game than the previous ones actually because it was kind of one-sided. Right now it is one-sided in the sense that there's a Lanaya. I think that she's doing just insane amount of... Let me see the kills. 7-1 or the Visage. That's, 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 that's absolutely normal. Like, you know, 7-1, anything 1, like 8-1, 10-1, even 10-10-1 I would be like... That's Wizard, you know, that's pretty normal. Actually, Lunai is 3-1, 51 creeps, 16 Denai, so she's doing definitely a great job. The thing is, again, what can kill her, you know, with the uh, refraction, like, not much things can, actually. That's that's the bad thing here. She can block the Fissure, she can block the, the ulti for Murfshaker, even, like, very, very difficult. I'm curious about the Nega Siren. It looks like it will be the classic one with the Vanguard, trying to survive there as much as she, as she can. Uh, which did, did, you know, it makes sense with the Riptide. By the way, the Slithering Gush will be coming out. The speed is coming out right now. Definitely on Earthshaker. He kind of noticed him, and there's Lanaya. There we go, the Witcher Trap. There are two supports running away. There was a Night Gush, I think was the max range. And there's a third level of the Invis, which does 150 damage. Uh, that <laughs> uh, oh, maybe Alti. She does, I don't think she has. Oh, Bloodstone. In 15 minutes. That's not bad. Oh, there, there's a Riptide, there's a mean, minus armor. Let's see if Akasha will fold it up with something. The slow or something. There's a whole team though. There's a stun. There we go. And there's so much damage, just too much damage for Akasha to survive. Even if uh, Visage was basically finishing it off. No, it was a Slugger, I think. They're still going for Nega. I don't think she has mana ulti. There's ulti from Rift Shaker. Everything from Rift Shaker. Killing the. Can't see. Somebody killed somebody. I think it was a. I'm really sure that. Visage. He killed Visage. There you go. Lana is still there because of the refraction. As you can see, it is Rakasha killing them. Like. He casted everything there, and look at the HPs, 670 HPs, and he cast everything there, everybody casted everything there, from theirs, Riptide, Alti, Fissure, nothing can damage uh, Lanaya, so she's definitely a big factor, and usually she's banned, if she's not banned, she's the first pick, as you can see. I like that action, like she saw the trap because there's a vision, so she was like, Oop, I'm gonna run back, and there was a, like a Sardar and Lanaya hunting her, so... <laughs> there was not really much space that she could, you know, what she could do there. It was definitely funny. 
but I see I think it's a free hits on these guys and it gives you hundreds so but then again it can even slow there's a dagger 150 perfection like, nice slow she was about to actually disable the egg the Lanaya so it was greatly played Root of Defiance let me just check the farm or the money for that matter It's 170, there's a something flying there, which is the boot of a... a town is under siege. So she went completely without boot, that's interesting. But definitely, the Hood of Defiance, which means the pipe, will help them very, very much. I mean, Lanaya is fine. She's got this. She's casting on a cooldown. She, you know, no, nothing will kill her. But like the other team, with the mech going here, an arcane boot, and pipe that soon, I think they could be definitely in a good position. But there's that, still that blink, and he knows about it. There's a 200 damage. Slaughter initiating kind of on the awkwardly on the mid while actually the Naya was fighting here, so that was kind of awkward. But then again, let's see if the Earthshaker will be able to cast something. Not even close to being, not even close to being effective <laughs> against this. Oh. Not really paying attention, I think, that much. Uh, I don't think I even see him paid attention there. <laughs> I'm just running past by. I'm surprised they did. But oh, there's the initiation, nice. This time she wasn't able to cast a refraction. That's too fast. Nice disable, though, I have to say. Uh, even though you can't cast it, oh, that's actually one hit of a button, so you know, it's not like she probably didn't have a cooldown on it. Look at Naga Siren is full. Ah! <laughs> Almost escaping, even though ooh, there's a there's a Lothar's Edge on a DK, which you know it's it's interesting choice. But the thing is, he has so little mana that he has the bottle, he has the magic stick or magic wand, I guess. But it's definitely new to me, Lothar on the DK. I like the movement speed of Lothar, of course. He can in kind of a prepare the best situation possible for him, or best position possible for him. Uh, do the critical. As you can see now, he's preparing the position against Slardar. And there's still the Shadow Demon, so the Slardar could be surviving very easily. That was a nice fisher. Nice, actually, Stephen Gush. Yep, he's surviving. There's actually ulti on the Earthshaker. And there's a Krobel, so she could be maybe ultiing even. There's a silence on uh, nobody, looks like it. Actually, there was silence on the. Whoever it was, Akasha it was. Uh, so that was nicely done. Again, they have definitely the higher ground. As you can see, Refraction, 200 damage. They could be slow. There we go. There's still the Lothar, so let's, let's see if he's gonna pull it off. Nice ulti from uh, an Aegis Siren, though. Nice splash on them, nice splash on them. Look at the move speed. Oh, uh, that's definitely... She caught him. Nice. But the, by the way, there was no vision, so definitely she caught him completely off guard, and Lothar basically went off cooldown, so that was nicely played. Face boot. By the way, face boot looks like to be a core item on Mega Siren. So, you know, for me, it's like this build doesn't really seems like much for me right now. It's like the beginning build, like you don't want to die that much. <laughs> we'll see, actually. If she proves it or not. Looks fine so far, but then again they can hunt her down because there's a slow second one. There's a split, but uh, maybe a Riptide would be nice on these illusions, but... I think she could even commit level 15 or level 20, 12, uh, she could even commit to go there. By the way, there was, there's a vision from the trap, so she definitely sees the Naga there. I uh, mean, Nega just completely not paying attention. She will die for it because obviously the obviously the Lanaya stay there, right? And there's an ulti from Akasha on the uh, on the latest Slardar. So holy shit, I can't see because of the fucking chat. What is happening? <laughs> I can't disable that. Akasha still might jump there. She actually does because she has the ghost capture. So she doesn't have to worry about uh, physical damage that much on the tower. Definitely 12, oh sorry, 1926. The game full of kills and weird builds, even though, I, I, you know, the move speed is there, but... 
I don't know. <laughs> it won't help him against this, you know, the Lanaya, which she actually has right now. 900, I think she bought something. Two bracers, there we go. <laughs> it's definitely not hers, but you know. Uh... Oh, look at that, that was amazing. She stole completely their rune. And there's a refraction, look at the damage. Not existing, actually. They still want to do it, but the haste is there, so... I think it was just badly played. I think it was just badly played, because... Of course this goes through the invis, and even the fissure, even the cold, uh, the slow, but... She, I think she could run away. Like, the fissure range wasn't there that time, so... Not really sure what was that, not really sure. Because the haste was there, right? So, what was the reason to actually stay there in the in the in the Inivis? Like the fake them. Uh, so she she thought uh, they don't have a vision on her, so they you know thought that they she run away. Maybe. There's, by the way, there's a slaughter hunting curve shaker. Back the action. <laughs> slaughter with the hood of the fight, so they have two of them. So each of them actually want just to block the damage from spells, which is interesting because slaughter is usually usually built on the BKB. Against spells, so you know, uh, the slaughter is there to hit to hit them basically to jump there or run there, stun and be there, hit them, out the on the main guy and with the hoot of the defiance. Of course, you can't really do that because there's a disable with the BKB. There's none. There's none disable. You know, so this is kind of a different build, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Definitely a cash out going agony, which she should be. I'm gonna... There's the Aghanim, and even Bottle. So that's very nice from a cash, I have to say, this build. Maybe... That's very nice, I think. Even though she's... She, she saw the trap, so she actually went here. Uh, she has the Ghost Capture actually activated, so nobody can attack her. So that's a great build from a cash, right away, I have to say. Silence is not actually completely missing the Akash. All Almost missing, actually. Actually, almost hitting. It missed, so... Was from long range here, so it you was know, decent action, but then again, I you know. She does have the Aghanim. Where is she? Aghanim, Bloodstone, 2000 HP, Ghost Capture. That's a lot of items. So it might be. You know, there's the Lanaya, but still. This Akasha is really, really good. There's still the Ghost Capture, so you know. That was nice stuff from the Visage. Yep, Ghost Capture is there. We'll see if she will cast the ulti. Maybe the Ella and I will hunt her. We'll see him down, we'll see. But the ulti from uh, Krobal, which... Ooh, look at the ulti from Akasha. That should be finishing off the Slardar. And even Visage will be finishing the Earthshaker. That's kind of a... Yeah, there we go. I was just focusing on the HPs of the CM. Finishing off... Uh... Ooh, there's a, actually... What the hell? It's a complete chaos. She's running there randomly. Uh, trying to get away with the port. Maybe she should actually get away in this position. Not really running towards the crumble. So, very chaotic actions, I have to say. Uh, it's hard to fall because it's in the free fronts, these uh, these uh, actions. A nice little from uh, Lanai, actually, even second one there. She's still running besides the Akasha. But still, there's a Ghost Captor. As you can see. And there's a port. S Woo! She blocked it with refraction, and I think it even. Missed, I think, the Slardar. But there's DK is there, but then again, DK with Lothar. Like, he can ambush, maybe. Maybe he can ambush somebody like a demon here. You know, but uh, other than that, like. With the Lothars, I don't know, like, it seems like a really pointless item. Because, you know, like, right now, they're gonna be under pressure, okay? And Lothar under pressure won't do much for you. Maybe pulling these guys would, you know, just to dominate and pull these guys. I said it's a bad position here. This one is better for the pull, but uh, it would be better than Lothar. You would have at least advantage of some sort, you know. We'll see. The Nega Siren is farming. I'm not really sure if it's a Radiance or not. We definitely see the some core. Right now it's a face boot Vanguard. It can't be. Previously it was Arcane boot and something. And then farming for radiance, which could be actually 
that could work, but then again, I'm gonna say it. Oops, there's action against uh, Akasha, which. There's a ghost scripter activated right now. We'll see the blink if. She. Oh, she can blink, okay. There's disruption. So. We'll see, there's a lot of HPs. 1000 HP still, there's Aldi even on her. And Visage. She should be dying very, very easily. And Lazit will be going to the Visage? No. I think it was a Crubble. It is a Crubble. But then again, you know, kind of off, you know, off position, uh, bad position for my cash, but whatever. Okay, let's see the, the Lanaya against Nega Siren. Uh, Lanaya plus 111 damage. Nega Siren is what I want to go for it. There's a Riptide, as you can see, the armor is minus 4, so it could work. And the interesting thing, without any items, like, she has one, 100 damage with reduction, so... It's not much, but it does something. That's the interesting thing. See, she still can do the damage, and she's almost there with the Sacred Relic. <laughs> you see nice blink reactions. Earthshaker, CM. Earthshaker, by the way, is kind of a shut down item buys because he's definitely want to go for the dagger. Yeah, 1.3k, but. It will take some time. I think 35 minutes in if he's gonna go for some asses, which could actually happen on the visage right now. Oh, cancelling the Shadow Demon's port, but there's nobody to actually followed it up. Akasha is there, so there's, there's gonna be ulti, I'm not... There's no doubt about that. Complete great ulti. Even ulti from CM, three ultis in a row. And look at the, look at the visage, killing actually maybe... No, it's not. There's no uh, the damage there, so... But blocking the CM there. There's nobody to follow it up, though, so... There's a fight, actually, against DK with the BKB, which is the I tempted to go for, but there's so much damage, actually, to it with the Lanaya and the Krobos. How you want to ghosts? Those are ghosts. Finally, DK has some decent item that, you know, he will be definitely useful with. Level 16 DK with the BKB. Yes, that's, that's good. Uh, they could definitely combo with the Akasha very, very greatly. And I think they will, but the, the Akasha was actually hunting on the right. Which she did. And she will push the tower, so Akasha is just ridiculously farmed at this point. Even more right now. <laughs> 2.k, 2.4k. Hmm. You know, could be even a key, could be in port boots. I would actually go for ports right now. And I think she will. Because what she's missing... All the thing she's missing right now is that... Uh, it can be Ginzu, of course, but Ports Boots, I think I would go for them just to be in the different situations, you know, because the Nega Siren is pushing the, the top, you know, there was action on bottom, so if Nega Siren is in trouble, Akasha could jump there with the ulti and everything. It could turn the fight there, so we'll see. We'll see what the choice will be. Right now she was uh, stuck there. I think so. <laughs> Even though this is the classic position, if you eat this tree, uh, they can't attack you, these neutrals. All, only one can attack you, so you can, you know, attack one by one if you have some lifesteal. Or with the Arza, you can do it. The classic positions. One here. You know. DK level 17 with Lothars. I mean, I, I think it's not the first time seeing that, but there's the initiation on the somebody. I cash it blink away. And I with the BKB, so this could be a little difficult for them to actually kill the Lanaya because the fraction is still there, but there's a BKB on top of that, and there's a pipe hmm. and mech. Right now, this is the time to push, I think, or pressure them at least, do something, because they have these items that are best at that at you know at the mid game, so. And there's a Ginzu, oh my god, she's farmed also very, very much, so... You know, the whole time I'm talking about the Kasha, I'm kind of forgetting that Krobel actually farmed also very, very nicely. And I think Ginzu beats Aghanim and anything, basically. And there's a dagger from Earthshaker, so... Great initiation, right now let's see that Earthshaker will follow up with something. Alt is down, let's see Akasha. There's a BKB right away from Elenaya. And there's a pipe, so... He's waiting for Pipe to be gone, hopefully. There's the ulti, look at that. BKB is down, I think, almost, so that was a great initiation from Earthshaker. There's all the shit, but the important thing is that Slaughter is dead, actually, Akasha's hunting down the Visage. 
which will help uh, with one hit of a uh, DK and triple kill on DK, so it was a great action from them. I think the Earthshaker definitely good, uh, did a great job. He just waited for a cash attack. I think clean that pipe. I used their pipe for you know Akasha, and there's an actual initiation on Danaya. She does have the cooldown on BKB right now, so maybe she will die. There's Invis, but she, they still can actually kill her very easily, as you can see. There you go. Oh, there's an Eternal Blade, and there's a Scream. In two, one. Actually, Alti, fuck it. <laughs> 40 seconds cooldown, what? Fuck it. <laughs> Eternal Blade on Akasha, that is insane. That is... That is insane, but definitely will work. Uh, she can focus on somebody, or she they can, you know, uh, do decent combo with somebody like Earthshaker because he was waiting the last moment for the pipe to be down, and then he jumped and basically he wiped out almost uh, Slardar alone. So that was very nice. By the way, Radiance on the Mega Sirens. So you know, they definitely like turned the fight. For them, and by the way, Nega Siren, basically what she did. Oh, there's a pull. There's a, actually attack of the Rexes. Or maybe it's just initiate. There's a preparation for initiation. There's a VKB on DK. Akasha is. I'm not really sure where Akasha is. So she's there. She's there definitely. Eternal Blade is on the on the Lanaya, and I think she they finished her off. A big, huge fight. So, but it looks like the Rexes will be there, even though the Crobble is trying, and she definitely can do it. She can hold it, but maybe not against the Akasha. We'll see. Uh, the Visage is definitely gonna, gonna be down because the DK damage is just too much, and the Akasha Central Blade combo with the Scream. That is just too much. But the Rex is there. So the Sentinel actually getting the Rex, the melee one. And the CM, of course, dying just like that because that's what CM does <laughs> most of the times. She just dies. Crobal actually pressuring up the DK, but there's uh, nothing they can do about him, I think, right now at this point. He's got the Hyperstone, so he's definitely strong. Lanaya losing a little bit of power, as you can see. Wow. And there's a BKB forced. Which it doesn't mean because the, I think the web actually goes through the BKB. They can still do it with a scream, like they did the previously, and maybe with the fissure. Actually, nice, nice shadow demon, <laughs> almost actually killing the Earthshaker with that ulti and the. Oops, there's the sound. I see, I see Eternal Blade and the Shadow Blade. Again, positioning. Oops, I think he completely forget about that ulti a little bit. And that's the thing about. Uh, but I guess I will die. That's the thing about that ulti that. Uh, it doesn't affect, basically, the, the Radiance doesn't affect you, so he was able to actually blink away, which was very fast. There is like 0. something second in the time uh, that uh, Radiance won't affect you, but there's a courier bringing him something, almost bringing him something. It's an armlet. <laughs> He's trying to get it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, no, it's not possible because the that one is stupid between this. And now you tell me if Dota 1, the courier items, getting to your inventory is greater than Dota 2. Like, who likes that, you know what I mean? Like, who would like that? In Dota 2, just click. By the way, this is a nice place. I didn't... I didn't even know this is here. <laughs> what was that, by the way? I really didn't know this is here, like a garden. <laughs> I don't think it's... I think it's a new thing. It has to be, because... You know, I would notice that in the five years, right? Right. <laughs> Has to be new. Oh, they have vision. I think there was a trap there. Oh, CM, don't, don't, don't vort, don't vort here, please. <laughs> don't do it. I think hmm, she could be staying there because CM obviously wanted to vort there. You know, she didn't know, but still, a little time more, and she would get it. So we got the same items, pipe and mech. That's the thing, like I said, okay, they have to push, but that's a little bit of problem with this. The preparation, yet again. By the way, the thing is, she's dead alone. <laughs> Akasha is there, okay, the ulti will be probably falling on them right now, with a scream. CM is there with a the slow. It looks like that was, what the hell was that? Let Just tell me what was that. There was all the Akasha in the position, with Earthshaker, yeah. 
That could be perfect because there's a lot of creeps there. But uh, wow, that was weirdly played. Not really good communication. Okay. There's a DK completely destroying Slaughter. Look at the stun on the range. It's, it's not possible. There's a, maybe a lot of on the speed and... I actually won't be going for it. He could, he could. There's a BKB, let's see if he actually he's gonna kill the Ladaya. She's holding her own with the reflection, but she actually did. Earthshaker's ulti, look at that. Fissure everything, CM's ulti. <laughs> they are combing these ultis like crazy, even though the Fissage will probably, probably finish the uh, CM off. Or maybe it's a slider, yep, it's a slider finishing with the stun. It's back and forth, I can't tell you who's gonna win, 32-39. Even though they have the mid, that's important, I think. Even though they are winning, there's still that Ginzu. She would have had to go for it, right? Right. Can't see the cooldown, though. There's a better blink, so she could be following the... Akasha pretty easily. Oh! Ginzu! 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 <laughs> nice, look at that. She followed the Akasha. A few more hits. Ah! But there's a Vladimir, so again more push maybe. Hmm. Again, like I think the DK, okay, there's a slaughter against our shaker, which definitely oh but it was a minister. Let's see if the cooldown will be there. There's a cooldown. Jump! There we go. <laughs> he kinda waited, you know, for the last second, but he was trying to make him think that he's got it. By the way, oh 36. He's gonna activate the armlet. No, he's not. There was a critical from that invis. Um, I can't tell you who's gonna win here. Normally I would, but uh, I think they're actually doing mistakes right now. Sentinel, kind of a getting themselves killed completely in a bad position. Like there's no point being here. Absolutely no point right now. They are not even a team. You know what I mean? There's not Earthshaker. They did perfect action on the middle. That was beautiful. Beautiful timing. A whole team there. But right now, that was not really necessary. <laughs> By the way, I'm not really sure if this is a good position for Akasha. This girl has the dagger, even though it was cancelled by Rosha, and that was the only thing that kind of hold her. Oh, Akasha is there actually initiating on the Slardar. Nicely done, nicely done. And Akasha is gone. She's actually still with the BKB, but it uh, will be off because I think it's like 6 second BKB. Oh, uh, there's a CM ulti yet again. Great ultis from CM. Even great ulti from Earthshaker. When there's an ulti from CM, there's an ulti from Earthshaker. I'm kind of noticing. They're combing the ultis, these two guys, like crazy. It works, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly, it works. By the way, the, oh, that's, I think, I should probably say it, that the CM's ulti, the range was, I think, boosted by 100. And in my Magna Tor game, the Dota 1 game, definitely a good one, go check it out. Um, the CM killed me, I was not ex you are not expecting that if you are used to the range of the previous one. The range is definitely higher, and it shows, it definitely, f or it, it, you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it when she's casting it. So, yeah, it's, it, it's a good combo. There's always that stun cancelling somebody there, you know. Oh, there's a Dagon at this point of the game? With the Ethel, I can get it. I actually can get it. She could right now solo. There's a pipe. And Vladimir. So there's like a counter. I think it's like a counter Vladimir to this Vladimir. If it makes sense, I think it does. Uh, basically, just evening the odds for creeps, you know, for the push. So. Right now with the Roshan, I think Negasire will take it, even though Akasha probably... We'll see. You know, Negasire is the one that actually is gonna stay there, but... Uh, or it's gonna be DK, like, they have many choices. If I see the DK's build... Okay, just, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna drink a little bit, because my throat again hurts a little bit. And meanwhile you can look at the CM having the ages. <laughs> um, 
I guess the mask is that important that you cannot throw it away. Um, like there's a magic stick, okay? Magic wand. There's a mask that you could give the CM. She was there to actually initiate on them, okay, but still I don't understand it. But then again, this is a great position for them, even though Akasha is a little bit off right now, she was building some items. Actually, maybe they can level 3 from level 2, so... The ulti is just there, so they have a lot of time. This is a perfect situation, so let's see. And look at range, like that is important to actually point out, range on that ulti. Okay, let's see the Earthshaker, how he will play it. There's a pipe right away, he was clicking on it like crazy. There's a Riptide, DK's uh, ulti, so he's gonna go for a Mask of Planets, by the way. Asara is actually trying to lift through it, he got Vladimir, but if he dies then the whole team will be affected by the, you know, lack of Vladimir. It looks like actually there's a fight on the bottom with Earthshaker and Lanaya, CM and Earthshaker, of course CM and Earthshaker. <laughs> That's the good old combo, by the way somebody's killing somebody there. Uh, that was a Krubble actually dying there, and they are still hunting the CM, the Lanaya, which she definitely will. By the way, that was a, kind of failed actually. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's fun. They knew the only one who's gonna die was gonna be CM. I can probably get it. Again, the CM's ulti. Look at that, completely destroying everybody. So, the CM is the hidden power of the of the mind scheme. No, actually, the oh, the other team. <laughs> and Lanai is actually definitely. She lost the power a long time ago, you know, after the BKB. Uh, and I think. I think it was actually the Nega Siren who did that, because they were in a great position here. But that ult, it turned the odds, you know. It wasn't that, you know, as I said, the BKB was before the ulti, but that would be even worse for the, for the, you know, for, for the uh, Lanaya. So definitely, the Nega Siren is great hero, and I think, you know, of course, the Cash did a great job. Yes. And the combos were, you know, even the combo with like Earthshaker and CM <laughs> with with their ulti, so it's kind of great. Uh, but Akasha did a great job. I think the Mega Siren ulti just solved it. I think overall, every situation was basically countered. You know, immediately when she saw somebody, she casted ulti immediately. So I think they were just completely shut it down. They could prepare their position perfectly, the Sentinel, and overall it was a good game. I couldn't tell who's gonna win in the end because when I saw the pipe, when I saw the Ginzu, I was like, oh, maybe they are in a better position. But again, the Nega Siren completely turned the odds in the mid here, and I think after that it was just action upon action from them. The Sentinel, like a good action. So thanks for watching. My throat actually really, really hurts, and that will be it for. I have a few replays, but then again, I can't fully really commentate in this state, so thanks for watching.